good afternoon so i just wanted to real quick bring you a video that's why i'm not doing it in vr or anything like that because uh well you know it's my day off yo and uh anyway i did want to share this thought with you because it just seemed well interesting so apparently uh, per War News 24-7, and of course I'll put the link in the description in the first comment. Apparently, uh, the U.S. is concerned about a possible transfer of ballistic missiles from Iran to Russia. Now, you know, when I hear stuff like this, it's like, does Russia really need Iran's missiles? I mean, do, do they really? Um, I honestly don't think so. I think that... Um, I think that Russia is probably fine when it comes to weapons stockpiles. So I have to ask the question, why? What is it? What is it about the Iranian equipment that Russia wants, right? I'm trying to figure out the strategy here. And all of a sudden, a conspiracy ran across my mind. And um, it goes along with something that I have been saying for quite some time, this this would be just one more puzzle piece where it fits. And that is that all these cats are in on this. Meaning this whole thing between the United States and Russia and the U.S. and China is all just a, a, a show. And why do I think that this supports that? Well, let's look at it. We've currently got Two military conflicts ongoing. In both of said conflicts, there are countries far and wide that are offering up their military support. So my question is, and if you've been around here for long, you know that I've said that if this is true, if, as far as <clears throat> if all these countries are actually working together together, you know, towards that whole biblical one world rule, one world currency, one world religion diatribe. Because, you know, I kind of trust the Bible a little bit. And if it says it's going to happen, I, um, yeah, I, I'm going to go with it's going to happen. So I keep looking for how this could play out, you see? Because we know the ending. It's in a book, right? We know the ending. So the important thing is to keep an eye on how it is that things around the world can be manipulated to bring us closer to that reality. Well, if you've been around long, you know that there's two countries that I have long said wouldn't be a part of this big global conspiracy. And those two countries are Iran and North Korea. The two countries that are not a part of the world banking system. Huh. Interesting, huh? So, now I have to ask myself, is Russia taking these munitions to lower uh, Iran's stockpiles so that they could be even more easily defeated? It's just Food for thought, toss it around however you wish. But I don't think that Russia really needs Iran's munitions. Do you? I don't. I think they've got plenty to go yet. Shalom.